So Barbara, I was thinking, you know how I made some videos from the, uh, that arts packet when the quarantine first started? How about we make another one of those? Yeah, let's do it. So um, today we're actually going to be making some shaving cream marbling. Uh, and in order to do that, let's look at our materials. Okay, so I got everything here I need. I need first a baking pan or some sort of pan to spread the shaving cream out on. So we're gonna need shaving cream. And to spread out that shaving cream on the pan, I'm gonna use a spatula. And then we're gonna need some type of food coloring or color. So I'm gonna use all these random oil paints and acrylic paints and even some temper paints that I have to put inside of the shaving cream. Then to move it around, we need some, some, some sort of device. I have these skewers, but you could use toothpicks or forks. Then we are going to be using a ruler to scrape off excess shaving cream. And I have a bunch of random uh, construction pieces of paper. And uh, let's do it. Barbara, do you want to help me with this marble painting? After you're done eating? Okay, well, I'm gonna get started now, okay? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shake up that shaving cream and I'm going to spray it on this pan. Let's see here. I think that'll do. Now I'm going to level out this shaving cream with my spatula here. Now it says to squirt food coloring or acrylic paint onto the surface. Okay, and now it says to swirl designs into your shaving cream with toothpicks. Again, I don't have toothpicks, but I do have these uh, skewers. That's pretty cool. Um, I also have a, ooh, that maybe is too much. Let's go back over that with the skewers. All right, the next step is to lay the paper down and pat it gently so all of the paper is covered on the underside with the shaving cream paint. I think that's pretty good. And it says gently peel off the paper and leave it down with the shaving cream side faced up. So I'm gonna take this paper off. I've never done this before. I've always heard about it. I've never done it. And here's where the ruler comes in. It says, last step, scrape off shaving cream with ruler and let dry. So I'm going to just use my ruler and scrape off the shaving cream on the top. Just like that. It's pretty cool, but I'm a little bit bored with just the yellow. You can only see a little bit of the gold and silver. So I'm gonna do a few more experiments. So I have my yellow and gold and silver, and I'm just gonna kind of spread that out again because I don't wanna to have to use all new shaving cream. And since yellow is a lighter color, I think if I use darker colors on top of this, then it'll mix together well. It'll be like a nice yellow background color. All right, this time I decided to add some oil paint that I had, and I don't know how this is gonna react, but hopefully it works. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the same paper that I just did um, because I thought this could have a little bit more to it. So I'm going to gently push it down. Gently peel off. Ooh, okay, there we go. So that's that looks a lot better with that red and yellow now. And 
just keep adding more colors. Here they are, all of my marble shaving cream paintings. They started with yellow and red, more red, then we got some purple in there. I really love that one. And then I added some black. That was by far my favorite. Really love that. And I added some brown as well. That one's pretty cool too. So I have my whole lineup of marble shaving cream paintings. Bob and I want to wish you good luck if you also decide to do the marbled shaving cream paintings and remember to help clean up after because it is a bit of a mess. See you later.